Hi everyone, I hope you're doing well. So let's proceed with the Spring Boot Fundamentals curriculum. So in the last video, what we saw is we saw that we built one endpoint on our Spring Boot application. Now we'll take it a step further and we'll explore how we can actually build an entire system of endpoints and how we can run our endpoints on an application called as Postman uh, and like hit our endpoints to basically get up, get the results. So I have developed the entire Spring Boot application for that and I will push the code onto the GitHub repository as well where you all can check it out. So what we're essentially building here is we're developing REST endpoints uh, in Spring Boot without a database or you could say using an in memory in memory DB here in memory DB essentially means that we're using an array list and when we are creating let's say we're creating something we are saving it in the array list when we are getting the array list we are getting all the data and uh, many other CRUD operations so let's go step by step until the last video we had uh, developed the controller application. So this is this still the controller application, but now we have introduced a few more uh, packages, I would say. So entity repository service and utils is another package. So we can ignore this for now. Service repository entity and controller are four main packages that you need to use in your Spring Boot application. So I'll quickly demonstrate how uh, this looks like. All right, so in your uh, basically from the website from the website what happens is uh, we get the request it goes to the controller in your uh, spring boot application from controller it goes to something called as a service layer then from service layer it goes to the repository layer so this is how this is the sequence of how your endpoints progress website controller service layer repository layer so here is the controller and here we have a request mapping of API V1 and customers. All right, and here we have autowired customer service and also uh, we have one, two, three endpoints at the moment, creating a customer, getting all customers and finding a customer by ID. So in, if we head go, go inside customer service, we'll see that customer service is autowired with customer repository. Now using customer repository, we can uh, it also has three uh, three tasks basically save customer find by ID and get all customers. And if I head into customer repository, it also has about three uh, methods find by ID save customer and get all customers. Here it is. So we are right now working with we are creating three endpoints. Save, get all, find by ID. So we're working on three endpoints for this and let's proceed. So let's say that we need to first get all. So how this works is that we have auto wired customer service inside controller. All right. And if we go inside customer service, we'll see we have auto wired customer repository into the service. And if we go inside customer repository, you'll see that that's the last auto wired at this moment. So this is the uh, in memory DB that we are focusing on right now. This is obviously not a DB. It's just an array list. But here we are going to create our endpoint. Here we're going to create the uh, I would say the exact logic. Now get all customers essentially means we're just returning the list. So we'll return the list here. Find by ID essentially means that we're iterating through this list and finding the ID where the incoming ID is equal to the ID present inside the list inside that customer. So if you see this code, it becomes evident what I'm trying to say. And in case of save customer, we are getting a customer object. All right, and we're creating a new object and we're setting its ID name agent address accordingly how it is with ID, get ID, get name, get age, get address from the incoming object. Then we're adding it to the list and just we're returning that. So this is how we are proceeding with the repository. This is a repository layer. And from repository layer, we 
check out to service layer. So service layer, uh, service layer, customer service, yeah. In the service layer, it's where we, oops, customer service layer is just where we are calling the methods from repository. So we're just calling these methods. So uh, there are some reasons why we are doing it like this. Why don't we just, I mean, the code that we have here, right? We can just uh, have that code here as well. I mean, it it can it does the same thing up at the end of the day. Why do we even need the repository layer? But this is what Spring Boot does, all right? It divides your entire software into components, and you can work on individual components, and you can improve individual components without affecting anything else. So this improves the code readability and maintainability. So after the from here. From here, what happens is we're just calling these methods. And now if we go to the controller class, we'll see that we have uh, we are automating the customer service. And here we're just calling the save customer, save customer, get all customer. And this time we're doing it from the service layer. So this is how this is how in actually industry industry standards, this is how the coding is implemented. So this is how you do a basic, like simple, the simplest CRUD operations uh, Spring Boot application with without a database as well. Now, if you want to introduce a database, it will come in the application.properties layer. Uh, sorry, uh, file. So it comes in here. We will see how to connect it with the database in the subsequent uh, classes using something called a Spring Data JPA. That's the that's an amazing Maven repository. Uh, yeah. So and this in Postman, Postman is basically an application where you can test your endpoints. So as you can see in my controller that my endpoints have this this ending. So basically it would be like it will look like this. And it's just that here we'll have save. And here we'll have all. And here we'll have find by ID maybe. So this is how this works. Now let's try creating um, an application, uh, sorry, creating a customer object, customer class. So there are some uh, request mapping over here, get, post, put, all of these are types of HTTP requests. Now for saving, it is post. For getting all, it's just a get. And even find by ID is get. Now, if you create an endpoint to delete, then it would be delete. If you create an endpoint to update, it'll be update. It'll be put, sorry. It's called put. So like that, that's how it happens. So I've already saved Captain America. Now let's go and save. You can now, sorry, it's not changed here. I scroll this down. Yeah. So when you're creating a post request, you need to go into body click raw and click JSON and you need to pass a JSON body. We'll go with Iron Man, obviously the next. Iron Man is from, um, I don't know, Earth for now. Uh, Iron Man is like, I guess, 45 years old. So we'll hit send and then you get a 200 OK message. That's basically good news. Now, if I try to get all, then we'll see a list with Captain America and Iron Man in it. In them. Now, basically this all over here and then this create over here, where is that coming from? That's coming from here. Slash create for post mapping, slash all for get mapping. And if we just pass the ID, we should be we should just be able to get not the list, but just the um, just just the single uh, object. For example, here we just want Captain America. I'll hit send and we just get uh, okay, so if I do this and we get an error. So what's happened right now is uh, before recording this video, I had uh, already tested out the APIs and uh, I had rerun the application. Uh, so uh, what happened is I already saved Captain America and then I rerun the application. So it's still in the memory. So I have to basically restart the entire application and then it should work. So yeah, that's about it. We'll see you in the next video. So thank you.